our next topic today is about adding assignment. So I usually use assignment to get feedback or answers or responses from my students. For example, uh, it can be used to ask questions like recall or gaining attention. We just want to get if they have a background knowledge or prior knowledge in preparation for the lesson. Now, here. Again, we need to turn editing on. And then we'll click on add an activity or resource and look for assignment and click add. Okay, what is the assignment name? So in my um, computer classes, I usually put there here inquiry, for example, number one for session one. Then what's the questions? For example, I'll put here number. Then, for example, question is, what comes to your mind when you hear the word netiquette? Okay. Next would be what is netiquette? Mm -hmm. Oops, okay, wrong spelling. So that's it. We have the assignment name. Here are the questions for the students to answer. And then, okay, you can add file here if the students need to view some files like audio, video, or other files that can help you for this assignment or help students answer the assignment. But I usually ignore this kasi hindi ko naman kailangan. Now, you can set here the availability kailan pwede or kailan may allow na makita to ng studyante mo. So you can say, for example, today is May 28, 2020. So I will open it tomorrow. So May 29, then at 7 a.m. Enable. Then the due date will be on ano nang date natin? So on June, maybe June 1, Monday. Okay. So, June 1 at around, sabihin natin, okay, so after 12 noon, 13 is 1 o'clock, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 in the afternoon, like 17. Okay, next, cut of date, due date is to set your deadline, but students can still submit even though it's past due date. Ano naman ang cut-off date? Cut-off date is after the due date, meron ka bang grace period na binibigay? So, dito mo yan ilalagay. For example, if you have 5-day grace period, so after 5 days, that will be June 5 or June 6. Am I correct? Okay, maybe June 5 kasi that's Friday. So, after that five-day grace period, students can no longer answer. Pero after the due date, students can still submit their answers even though they're late. You get the idea. I, I, hope, I hope so. Okay, that's it. Next, always show description. So let's see. Show description. If disabled assignment description above will only become visible to students at the allow submissions from date. Okay. Sige. Later, tingnan natin kung ano yan. Submission types. Anong gusto mo? Are you going to ask students to submit a file like Microsoft Word file, PowerPoint, or anything? Kung hindi, disable this. 
if yes we can allow the number of maximum uploaded files so one lang for example you can set the uh, submission size file file size so hindi ko naman kailangan ng file submission pwede to kung halimbawa nagpagawa ka ng powerpoint ina-upload mo dito pwede yan so pwede naman sabay pwedeng file submission at the same time online text so tingnan muna natin anong online text ang online text naman is simply students will encode their answers on this page so try natin after that you can limit the word for example 50 words lang it's up to you but i don't usually use this okay so online text muna tayo then feedback no need for that submission settings no need Skip na natin yan. Advance na yan. Group notification grade. So, ilang grade ba ang ibibigay mo if you're going to grade this? So, usually 5. I think it's enough. Or 2 or 3. It's up to you. So, simple direct grading. Then, common module. Show. Can show or hide. Restrict. Later na to natin discuss. Activity completion. Okay, itong activity completion, discuss ko na kasi import. This is very important. For example, click natin, show activity as complete when conditions are met. So, student must view this activity complete it. Check. Require grade. No need if it's only formative. Student must submit to this activity to complete it. Okay. Check that. And that's it. We're done. So, let's click save and return to course. And we have now here the inquiry one. So, let's see if turn editing off. This is how students will see your um, assignment. Click on it and that's it to date, time remaining, and change tayo as role. Click on administration. Yung, some of you can find this administration somewhere here. If I click this one, you can find it here. This is the administration, and you can see here, switch role to, since I'm a teacher now, I want to see and view this assignment as a student. So click on it. And this is how student will view your um, assignment for inquiry. Click natin ulit. And that's it. So wala pang, this assignment will accept submissions from Friday pa. So walang submission kang makikita dito. So edit natin. Course administration. Okay. Return to my role as teacher. So, edit settings natin. So, check natin. For example, available na siya as of today. 28. Click. Save natin. Click. Yan. Inquiry 1. Okay. That's it. Switch ulit tayo as a student. Okay. Now, you can see now, add submission button. So, this is how student will submit. Once the student click on this add submission button, okay, the student can now enter their answer. They can copy the questions and paste it here. Control C, Control V, and their answer will be here. So, what's their answer? Okay. So, answer number one. So, what's their answer? So, answer will be encoded here. Then, another answer here. So once the student is done, save changes. And 
That's the answer. Now, paano naman kung may... Uh, okay, let's return to my normal role as a teacher. Let's edit settings. Go back to edit settings. And what if I enabled file submission? So we, I just want you to see how students will see or view your assignment if there is file submission. Okay, save now then. Save and display. That's it. And then switch role to student. Okay, edit submission. Since hindi pa naman deadline, student can still edit their submission. For example, uh, they have changed their minds. May, na, may naisip silang panibagong idea. Edit. For example, naisip nila, mali pala yung sagot nila. They can still edit their answer. So, kanina, wala itong file submission. Since we enabled it, Aside from online text, meron pang file submission. So, for example, if you require them to submit a file. So, that's how student will be seeing this. So, for example, okay. Um, they can drag and drop the file here. Then, save changes. Okay. Okay. So that's it. Only if you need a file submission. So if not, you just need to uncheck. So return to my normal mode or role, edit settings, and you can simply disable the file submission. So yun lang. That's how you create an assignment. So pwede mo siyang, ang assignment pwede mo siyang gamitan as an inquiry or ano ba mga pwede rin to sa performance task you put here all the instructions and then the students can view the rubric so you need to edit the grade so this time there's an option here where you can change how you grade it for example if this is performance task, maybe you want mm, 20 points. And then instead, your grading method, instead of simple direct grading, you can change this to rubric. Okay. Then save. Once you save it and you enable rubric, you will be redirected to this page where you need to define your new grading form from scratch. So for example, okay, rubric for PT1. So descriptions here, um, what are the descriptions usually? Okay, please be guided by this rubric. Or any instructions you may want to include here and then you can add for example clarity maybe you know, anyway sample lang to. clarity long points okay, you can uh, change this to 0 1 2 or ascending or descending so okay clarity zero not clear so sample then one point and for example very clear in between not clear very clear anyway this is just sample okay you can change this um, based on the criterions and acceptable descriptions 
na napag-usapan nyo sa department nyo. So, dito, not quite, not very clear. Okay, add. You can still add another level. So, simply close this one. Add another criterion. Um, ano pa ba? Any other criteria? Anyway, just change this. I'm running out of idea. Criteria or criteria. Criterion 2. Okay, descriptions. Descriptions two, descriptions three. Okay, save. Okay. Then let's see as a student. Okay, student can see it here. The grading criteria is seen here. So three plus two. Total is 5 if there is 5 points. Edit settings. Okay, maybe we just change the grid to 5. Yes, that is my example. Save and display. Okay, now as a teacher, you can see. Switch to teacher. As a teacher, okay, how can we see now? View all submissions. You can see the submissions here. But since I still don't have the students enrolled in my course, I cannot see any student's name in this page. So that's it. What's important now is you know how to create an assignment and you may also add a rubric. Okay, that's it.